What's up, you guys? So I'm getting this message for somebody that it's just time to let go of somebody that's, it's like, they're not Prince Charming. They're not, you know, Princess Charming or whatever the case may be. They are a frog, okay? They are a frog, okay? This person is never gonna stop with whatever this devil energy is they've got, okay? They keep feeding into some kind of addiction or something like that. Whatever it is, it's like they keep feeding into it. They keep repeating it with you, okay? They keep leaving you out in the cold. This is a this is a karmic relationship, or either this person just keeps, you know, choosing a karmic path, all right? So that's the truth of the matter, all right. We got the devil Capricorn energy with the six of pentacles. It's like you're deciding no longer to put your time and energy towards this person, this situation, okay? Um, with the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there's a lot of air energy here. So, you know, you could be with the five of pentacles, we got Taurus energy. The king of cups with the five of cups. And the high priestess uh your intuition has been telling you this for a while okay this is a karmic connection or this person is acting really karmic -y, okay with the justice card coming out libra energy the five of wands like it's always conflict with this person uh you always feel alone with this person with the nine of pentacles you're manifesting some something else. This person is really behind on their, you know, spiritual progression or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I feel like that you're moving on from this person, all right? You're coming up as the Empress. This person is holding you back here with this Four of Swords, all right? You're making a judgment call here. You're changing, you're changing your own fortune here with the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. The Moon. There's a lot of things hidden here. There's always a lot of things hidden here from the cards I got before I started recording. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and that's the blockage in this relationship, okay? This person has been deceitful. Um, they've been hiding things from you, okay? And they could be experiencing some kind of tower moment because of this, okay? Somebody could have blocked this person. Someone who they were, you know, partying with or something like that with the Three of Cups. 73 could be significant. 47. 43. 473. And we got a 6. The Page of Swords with the Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. This person is is always juggling and watching somebody else and that's been going on for a long time it feels like with the seven of swords it's like this person don't know the, they don't know how to be honest with 333 on the timer they could have acted like they had changed but the truth is they haven't changed with the five of cups they're always looking somewhere else okay the grass is always greener on the other side all right is what i'm getting here so you could have went through a lot of uh, depression because of this person, this situation. I'm seeing your heart broken here. Okay, with the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, with the Page of Wands and the Sun. Okay, the Queen of Wands could represent like a third party situation. We'll see. We'll see. Or this is just you taking your power back. Okay, this is a lot of um, powerful energy here with the there's a lot of passion here leading you towards possibly towards something else okay somebody's in regret here okay somebody wants to move out of this conflict with you okay i don't know if you want to <laughs> move out of the conflict i'm seeing happiness coming here but you are um the energy i was getting before i started was recording was you were ready to so this could be past energy where you were ready to throw in the towel with this person. 
the King of Swords coming out again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Somebody you have some kind of soul contract here with the Seven of Materials and the Three of Emotions. 73 could be significant. You could have kids with this person with the Muse of Materials, which is the um, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm seeing some good cards on the bottom, so let's keep going. So this person now is uh, looking at you as their wish fulfillment. They're feeling romantic towards you here. But you seem to be heartbroken possibly here with the Three of Swords or someone is heartbroken. With the Chariot here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody has made a choice that they want to move forward with the Empress here, okay? They want you to have patience with them, okay? They've been all up in their head about some kind of ending here. You already knew that with you coming up as the high priestess, okay? This person wants you to take a leap of faith with them, all right? They have went within with the hermit card, Virgo energy, Aquarius energy with the full Taurus, Virgo, Pisces with the priestess, okay? Something has been blocking um this connection here okay something has been blocking this connection um or this person has been blocking this connection themselves they are in regret about that they want to heal this relationship okay from some kind of lies and juggling here okay they're like newly inspired to end some kind of cycle here They've made a decision here with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius to leave behind their toxic ways with the devil here. Capricorn energy, you are their wish fulfillment. They are awakening to that with the Queen of Emotions and the Awakening card. This person could be dealing with some kind of addictions here. You are very highly intuitive here, okay? Okay, so we got the Ace of Emotions and the Five of Inspiration. With the Magician and the Two of Cups. All right, this person is getting real focused on um, renewing your relationship here. So... Let me get some cards on if that's what you want, if that's what's going to manifest here. With the sun card here, I am seeing like a lot of happiness for you, okay? And the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. This, You are this person's wish fulfillment, but they seem to keep, like I said, going back to some kind of toxic behavior. So let's get six cards on what the future of this connection is. So we got the Two of Cups with the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. So you could be upset over some kind of um, something that this person was investing in here. They could have been spending money on um, some kind of third party here with the Queen of Wands. All right. This person has made a judgment call on whatever this situation is to pass up whatever this opportunity was and focus. They are extremely focused on this Empress right now, which is you. Okay. With the Wheel of Fortune, they want to change things. They want to move into a peaceful energy with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want justice with you. With the lovers, they want things to come together with you. So that's good. I suppose. I mean, if that's what you want. Yeah, so they, um, like I said, they made some kind of judgment call on who it is that makes them happy, I guess, because, and they could be consulting with other people here, or either there's, you know, 
there were several third party situations, third, fourth, fifth, you know, it's it's been a party going on, it looks like. So all right, but you seem to be this person's wish fulfillment. Let's get some from the sacred forest. The dragonfly card did come out here. So, and I just saw 10, 10 on the uh, clock. Things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. This person could be realizing things about themselves. You're realizing things about this person that, or this person is trying to gain the courage to possibly talk to you about something with the moonlight, enchantment, magic, and the courage card here. They can want to talk to you about something that's happened during the spring and summertime, okay? Things could get better um, around now. It's about to be fall. There's going to be some kind of truth coming out here about a situation. Okay, this person could be going through a stage of reflecting on whatever this is that's happened right now and trying to transmute some negative energies they have picked up, okay, for whatever this third party situation is. You're being guided to trust for right now. There's a new beginning coming. Of course, y'all got to um, use your own intuition on this. It's just a general reading, okay? And so if somebody's being toxic and doing all kind of crazy stuff to you, believe what they show you, all right? So we got the air spirit and the ancient oak spirit with strength. Okay, this person could have um, a lot of air in their chart. They could have uh, Leo in their chart as well. Sun, moon, rising, um, north node. Okay, so we have generosity and prosperity. This person, they they see themselves being prosperous with you. They are trying to refocus on this relationship here. So, all right. So, let's get something from the hip-hop goddesses on how this person views you. Male or female, how this person views you. <clears throat> this person feels feels that you are very um they're very attracted to you here. Definitely they feel like that you attract a lot of people. Okay. They feel like you're very spiritually gifted here with lotto instinct and left eye tlc vision they feel like you're an earth angel um angel number 777 with lotto okay so it's looking good y'all it started off pretty ugly okay and had me angry but you know <laughs> y'all it's talking about half faith so but y'all this is a general reading okay so take what resonates and leave the rest that's what i got for y'all hope to see you in the next one bye